Murphy's man. Chad from Saka. Inside leg kick from Bobo Saka. Nice Chad from Sacco, checks the low kick. Good long reach here from Bobo Sacco. Outside leg kick from Philip Duck. Built like an absolute powerhouse is Philip Duck. Kicks the lead leg, high on the thigh. And again, choosing one spot. He's going to try and get in that leg. Kicks the leg once more. Flurry on the inside oh. there from Pull Up Dam. Sucker, long reaching jab. Pull Up Dam continues to hit the leg. One way to slow down the punches of your opponent is to take out his legs. You can see the way Bobo Saka is kind of overextending on his punches because he's having to punch down to Kulab cool Dam. And Kulab cool Dam loves to time that overhand left. We'll be interested to watch how this match progresses with that left hand of Kulab cool Dam. You can't move your feet, you cannot box properly. Both men wearing the project armbands around their biceps. Nice two-punch combination from Philip Down. Big outside of the kick in the tie. Short right hand there from Sacco. Job of Sacco starting to land. Ooh, that really helps get the winner connect though with the fun of the shin rather than the slap of the instinct. Jab two from Sacco. Outside leg kick from Philip Down. Off the ropes now. Sacco nice leg kick that time. Two to the round the sciatic nerve. Philip Down comes in with such a big reputation. Seven knockouts in a row at Channel 7 Stadium in Thailand. Almost unheard of. Nice turning right hand there from Philip Down. Snappy jab from Sacco. Who is starting Six, to step out. Seven, he has these eight, little steps eight, that he does. Five, he's trying to cut the corner when he turns out to the right. But Kulabdam is timing it. He's connecting with his leg kicks and overhand left. That's why they call him the left meteorite. And the meteorite crash on the face of Bobo Sacco. Sacco ties him up. Kulabdam drops his butt. Sacco's got to slow this down. We're going to get a minute break here in a minute. High kick from Bobo. Sacco of France and Philip Dam Sojo Pietutai winning the first round comfortably. Watch this. Look at that. Just right on the top of the head, landed beautifully there by Kulab Dam. And that wobbled him. That was a delayed reaction. It slowly sunk in, and then the leg started to give way, and then he caught him again with another big left hand. You can see Kulab Dam is very correctly named with that left meteor right because that's what that left hand is. It's like getting hit with a sledgehammer. Beautiful timing from Kulab Dam. We are ready to rock and roll. Second round of three. Great opening round from Kulab Dam. The left meteor right crashed onto the face of Bobo Sacco. Now can Sacco turn the tide? Can he find a way to swing momentum in his favor? He's got to use his speed. He's got to use his reach. But he's got to use his angle. Full of confidence, Mitch. He's got to be careful stepping off to that right. He does that a lot. I've seen it from a lot of his past fights. He likes to throw, step off to the right. Again with that left hand. Pull it down. Bobo King. And Bobo Saka. Look at him saying, come on, what have you got? Let's bring it. Taunting, baiting Bobo Saka. Getting inside the Frenchman's head. Playing physical and psychological games. Nice knee there from Bobo Saka. Pull it down. A young man of such massive power and technique. Good adjustments on the footwork from Sako. 
not stepping off like that. He's also utilizing that jab. Ooh, that foot too. Just. Reckless work the drill a couple of seconds. A second of the time. Look at him! Rock the ball to head down for the main two break. Smiles at him. There's that left hand again. It's like he's swinging a sock full of rocks at the face of the other side. Shaco should try and watch that knee again. The one who believes that he does just that, pull the opponent down while driving the knee up and deliver up to 2.5 tons of force. Enough to lift a car. Incredible if you can latch on and pull the head down. Stop! 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 Needs to get up first here. Outside leg kick for the Frenchman. Tries to double up on it. Ooh, there's the kick from Bobo. You see how he's changed the game right. plan now. It's not about distance. It's about getting on the inside and clinching up with Kulak Dark. Maybe his corner believes there now and has the upper hand in the clinch with the elbows and knees. Good up and the straight left hand combination landed by Sako. Saka, left twist. Referee Delap just breaks him. 20 seconds remaining. Second round of three. Slow round this from Delap down. After the explosiveness of the first stanza. Comes forward now the top. You see the point time. Stance, the elbows flared out. Arms turned out to catch the kicks on the floor. Arms catch the elbows. Hurry away the jabs. Stop. Elbows out to catch the kicks. In the house tonight, the greatest K1 champion of all time, Ernesto Hoost, is here in the VIP section. Great to have the all-time greatest four-time K1 World Grand Prix heavyweight champion, Ernesto Hoost, here in Vietnam. Watching you guys all week has just been an absolute treat, Michael, hearing the stories that you guys have been telling. He is truly something special. But right now, we've got round three of Sako and Kulab Dam. It's a fair, it was a much better round for Bobo Sako. He was able to make those adjustments, utilize the clinch a little bit better, shut down that monstrous left hand of Kulab Dam. Really started to close the distance, was able to utilize the clinch well. But in that third round, this is where we typically see Kulab Dam go absolutely bananas. So expect this round to be the one. Do not go to the bathroom or the restroom, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one you got to watch. Ray, Ray. Third and final Thank round you. inside the sold-out Futur okay. Indoor Stadium for oh. one championship. Oh. In little triumph oh. from Ho Chi Minh City. Jab two, nice to come from Bobo Saka. Turn it on. Kulabdam is slowed and Bobo Sako has turned it on. 
Gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the red corner. 